HotWireFoamCutterInfo.com presents the Forward Shaft Bolt Spring End Cap Assembly. All of the forward facing end cap assemblies can be used on any of the PVC hot wire foam cutters. The purpose of the extension spring is to apply tension to the nichrome wire when it expands due to heat. The forward facing end cap assemblies have the stove bolt passing through the interior of the end cap and exiting out the front. You'll require a single 10-24 stove bolt where 10 corresponds to the internal diameter and 24 corresponds to the spacing of the threads. The recommended length of stove bolt is anywhere from one and a half to two and a half inches to make sure that you have enough space for all of your other components. You will require one ring terminal, three 10-24 full nuts, one 10-24 wing nut, six number 10 washers, and a single extension spring. We'll need to start making our forward facing end cap assembly by drilling a hole directly through the end of our end cap. You'll need to choose a drill bit between 7 sixths and a 1 quarter bit. The idea is that you choose a drill bit that will completely cover the threads of your 10-24 stove bolt. For protection, secure the end cap with a bench vise or a pair of vise grips. You'll need to remember when drilling the hole through the end of the end cap to make sure it's offset from center so that you can get all of your electrical components to fit. And be sure to reference the sequencing diagram for this next portion. We will also be using a previously made ring terminal and connection wire. Reference the website for additional videos. You'll need to start by putting on the washers and ring terminal before you attach the PVC end cap. The purpose of the washers is to help compress the ring terminal against the screw to achieve a good electrical connection. It's also a good idea to use a screwdriver and adjustable wrench to secure the full nut to the screw. Also, instead of using a full nut, you can use a locking nut or include a locking washer. This will help the screw from becoming dislodged or loosened up just during normal use. Next, bend the ring terminal backwards so that the entire bolt assembly will fit easily into the end cap. Once you're ready to put the screw through the end cap, depending on the size bit that you chose, it may be easier or harder to pass. Again, you may opt to place a locking washer or a locking nut to secure the bolt to the end cap. Because this end cap will ultimately be secured to the PVC support arm, it'll be impossible to access the bolt in the future should it need to be retightened. Once the entire assembly is tightened, you'll need to attach the extension spring. An extension spring will pull back to its original shape and keep tension on the expanding nichrome wire, which is essential to prevent the nichrome wire from sagging when heated. Depending on the length of stove bolt you've chosen, you will have more or less length sticking out the front of your end cap. A longer bolt will allow for more adjustment in the placement of your nichrome wire. Attaching the spring to the end cap assembly is rather tricky and can be frustrating. With the medium sized handheld cutter, the natural rigidity of the PVC will provide tension on the nichrome wire and the spring may not be necessary. But for larger handheld cutters and tabletop cutters, it's a good idea to include the extension spring to prevent sagging of the wire. Here we have the medium handheld cutter. 
You will notice that this cutter employs both the bolt hook assembly and the bolt spring assembly. The bolt spring will apply tension to the nichrome wire as it expands when heated, while the ring terminal will allow quick changing and easy adjustment. And there you have it, the bolt spring forward facing end cap assembly. And don't forget that all the diagrams and additional videos are available on the website at hotwirefoamcutterinfo.com. And thank you for watching.